Hey guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to film another beekeeping video. Um, some of you have requested another one, so I'm going to make one on how to move colonies of bees. Um, as it happens, I have three colonies that I need to move now and also a nucleus hive. Um, now the quality of the film might be a bit uh, reduced because we're going to film in the dark because bees have to be moved during uh, nightfall because if you all of a sudden move a hive, a lot of the flying bees will actually... Uh, you know, the home will be gone and they'll just die, so we don't want that to happen. So, I hope you enjoyed the clip and I see you in a bit. Okay, so we're, we're here now. Hey guys, so I'm here now at the bees, with the bees, and I'm going to basically lock them up now. I have my hive straps here ready to actually stop any of the equipment from falling apart when I'm moving them. Um, I want to let you in on a little secret and that's basically uh, beehives don't have to be locked up at night time when you're moving them because the bees will cluster and they will actually stay in the hive which is really good news because it's much easier for us uh, to move them. Now don't do this during the day because otherwise what you're going to have is you're going to have a car full of bees and there's going to be like 30,000 in each hive at this time of the year. In summer it'll be more like 80, 90,000, so definitely not a good idea. So here's one of the hives I'm going to move. You can see the bees there are clustering already. It's getting cold, so they're all hanging out together. There's quite a number of bees for them actually to be out at the entrance. It means that whole box is full of bees. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the strap is going around the crown board, the brood chamber and the floor. Um, make sure that you have about two straps, because there's one on the other side there as well and make sure as well to really tighten both straps really really strongly really tightly so then nothing can come up okay there we are there's you you won't be able to see them that there's three hives in there and that was back breaking work jesus i tell you they're about 30 kilos per hive and i'm sweating but at least i got them in anyway all the entrances are open there was one nucleus hive and that definitely didn't work because uh, the queen must have been gone on it or something was wrong with them because they were just crawling all over the hive so I just said okay I'll leave them now for another day and I'll lock them up properly the next time I didn't have time not to, um, to lock them Now up. probably at this stage you probably if you're not into beekeeping you definitely would have switched off by now but I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about certain methods of moving hives because it's very important uh, for the, the beginner really to learn how to go about it so one big no-no is to try not to do it in the heat of the day if you don't have a screen on top of your hive because what happens is the bees kind of start uh, heating up they, they they kind of give off about 37 degrees celsius or something like that and the wax can melt at at a slightly higher temperature and that can happen if there's plenty of heat in the day so if it's like 30 degrees celsius you definitely want to have a screen on top of your hive um, what else? Now definitely don't do this during the day uh, with leaving the hive entrance open. I can't stress that enough because otherwise you're going to end up with lots and lots of bees all over the car and inside the car and it's just pure dangerous. Now another important thing is wear your suit because you just never know. Um, you might have an accident or something like that. Also drive very very carefully, very slowly because you want to make sure that um, you know that it's not too much of a bumpy ride. Now I think it's also very important to this is actually very important, is to, to have your hives facing in such a way that the frames inside the hive are aligned perfectly with your car. That means that they're not, you know, hitting back and forth, because if that happens, it's not a good idea, you know? Um, you're squeezing and squashing so, these. If you enjoyed this clip, please do subscribe. And um, if you're on Facebook, please make sure to like the page. And I hope you enjoyed the clip. I'll see you next week. Thanks.